Lollipop Chainsaw is a third-person zombie hack-and-slash with very fun and replayable combat and a humorous story. The game itself is kinda short, depending on how good you are. It'll probably take 6-8 to eight hours to beat on your first go-round, spread throughout 7 levels if I remember correctly, counting the prologue. Each level, except the prologue, contains a boss at the end, which are all pretty simple. Simple, not necessarily easy for a first-timer. But all the bosses are unique and easy to appreciate, with Zed probably being my favorite. Graphics-wise, the game looks okay for when it came out. The soundtrack is pretty good, though. Shame it's being changed for Repop. And all the sound effects are amazing, with a very talented voice acting cast. Gameplay, it's a very fun hack and slash with, with simple combos or just straight button mashing for beginners to more advanced combos for veterans. You earn coins, called medals, for killing zombies, which can be spent to buy new combos, outfits, upgrades, etc. A player should try to maximize their medals by sparkle hunting, where you decapitate three or more zombies in a single blow, earning the player extra medals with higher payouts from better sparkle hunts and from tougher enemies. Speaking of tougher enemies, this game has a ton of zombie variety, from basic high schooler and citizen zombies to firefighters with axes and the ability to breathe fire, to athlete zombies, flying zombies, and cheerleader zombies, just to name a few, all with their unique twist. And why would the game be called Lollipop Chainsaw without lollipops? You find them scattered throughout the level and use them th throughout the levels and use them to restore health. Moving on to the story, spoiler alert, I'll try to keep my summary somewhat vague. The game is about a high school cheerleader, Juliet Starling, and it just happens to be her 18th birthday, saves the world from a zombie apocalypse with a pink chainsaw and pom-poms, with the help of her family and her decapitated head boyfriend Nick. The game has two endings, a good and a bad, both of which I unlocked. I mentioned humor earlier. Lollipop Chainsaw is filled with jokes and amusing situations, although many are vulgar, some aren't. This game has an online ranking slash challenge mode if you get bored after beating the main story, but it's really just the main story with a couple small twists, like trying to speed run a level as quickly as possible. And yeah, that's Lollipop Chainsaw for ya. Rightfully earns a 9.5 out of 10 by my grade scale, although I think in a previous video I gave it an 8 out of 10, I've grown to appreciate it more. And I think Lollipop is a great example of just the creativity and risk-taking of the Xbox 360 PS3 era that we don't see too much of by modern companies. But at least this hidden gem exists and is getting an upcoming remake, Lollipop Chainsaw Repop, which inspired the timing of this video. Well everyone, that's all for today. For anyone new here, I mostly play, review, and discuss zombie and horror games. Feel free to check out some of my other content if that sounds interesting. Always remember that Jesus loves you. Peace.